Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and today I want to show you my new favorite tripod. I got it from came-tv.com. Uh, I already you know, reviewed a bunch of products from the company and decided to try this tripod. Really, really cool. I've been using it for the last three months and it's, you know, it's my go-to tripod for, uh, right now. Uh, first thing I just kind of want to show off is you know, it comes in this nice bag and you'll notice even just the design of the bag, just like with everything else with this tripod, has been well thought out. So as you can, you'll notice the handle is not dead in the, in, the, in, the, in the center of the bag, but kind of offset where more of the weight is, of the basically where the, the tripod head is. And this way it makes it just easier to balance it in your hand when you're carrying it. Um, now let me just open up the bag and show you guys what's inside. So, uh, as you'll notice, the case is you know, nicely padded. It's about an inch of padding, so it really protects your tripod. Uh, there's also extra padding here around the tripod head. First thing you'll notice is that you know, it's, it's a pretty big tripod, uh, but you know, uh, despite the size, it's actually fairly light. And that's because it's made out of carbon fiber, or at least the legs are, are made out of carbon fiber. So it really you know, just reduces the weight. Uh, but still, you know, it's strong enough to allow you to put really big, you know, camera setups on there. Uh, another thing, you know, I just, you know, like about it is just all the little things that, that you know, all the little features that this tripod has that, uh, that, that you also find in uh, top of the line tripods, but, but without the, the really big, you know, uh, price tag attached to it. Uh, one of the things I really like is these little clips, which just makes it easier when transporting and just, you know, the, the, the tripod legs don't, don't separate. You can easily unclip this. Uh, it, has a, it has a spreader here on the bottom and in case you guys don't know what a spreader is It's uh, you know if, if you're working on a surface where you can't get a good grip for the for the, the tripod legs Then you use that to basically stop the legs from from sort of you know going away from each other now It's adjustable so you can easily loosen this thing and you can you know widen the spreader Which allows you to put the the tripod even lower than than it is right now You can put it pretty much like you know, just like two inches above the the, the ground Another thing it has is that in case you do, don't want to use the spreader, it has these spiked legs that you can use up here. So you can, you can just put this into the ground, for example. But right now, just you know, while I'm testing it out, I'm just going to show you, show you guys with the spreader. Uh, it also comes with, uh, with uh, the base plate for the camera, obviously. We'll put the camera on it in a second. Comes with a, a little strap. That's for the, the, the case itself. And it comes with a different size screw up here. I believe this is a 3 8 of an inch. Uh, so you can change it out on the base plate. And then you can also use the, the standard, which is a quarter inch. Uh, I always get those screw sizes mi mixed up. But it's basically comes with all the, all the industry standard uh, screws. So depending on whether you're using a big camera or, you know, or a smaller camera rig, you, you can use the, the proper screw. So it, it's all included, which is kind of nice. Uh, let me put the, the camera on there. I'm going to use the, the, the Canon T3i. So we'll attach the base plate. Now the reason why some of the other uh, you know, if tripods uh, out there have these really long base plates is, is so that it allows you to, to move the, the camera basically uh, you know, forward or backwards to sort of adjust the center of gravity of, of, of your camera setup. Well this one is actually, it's kind of nice that it's small because it's, you can just leave the base plate attached to the camera, you can fit this in the, in the camera bag without having this long base plate while still being able to adjust the, the forward and back motion of the, or, or the position of the camera. You, s you snap this base plate here into the tripod. Uh, so once you have the camera on there, uh, you can actually uh, adjust the position, the backwards and forward position of the camera, just by loosening this knob up here. And as you can see, you can go you know, f f a fairly large distance here, forward and backwards. And what this is good for is, in case your camera is, let's say, your camera rig is forward heavy, then uh, you, you, can, you can move the camera backwards to make sure that the, the tripod, you know, doesn't, it, basically there's not too much of a strain on the tripod head. If your camera is a little bit off balance or, or you know, like I said, for, too forward or back heavy, and you're always just putting it like this, you know, on the tripod, and over the years of using any tripod head, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna add unnecessary strain basically, and it's gonna make the, the fluid head a little bit less fluid. So you always, you know, you, you, you should try to, you don't have to perfectly balance it, but you should try to more or less put the, the, the center of gravity of your camera rig more or less you know, in the center of the, of the, of the tri tripod head. And also this way, it also means that like, let's say if, if the camera is really, you know, uh, forward heavy, if you leave it, you know, unattended, and let me just turn off everything here. And 
if you left it unattended, let's say, I don't know, light falls over or something and you let go of it, if it's very forward heavy, it's just going to tip the, 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 you know, the tripod head forward and you could damage your lens or something like that. Whereas, uh, you know, if you have it more in the center, then you know that chances of it, you know, going or, or at least, you know, t the camera tilting really hard are, are, are really small. So that's, that's a cool thing. There is actually another function though, uh, up here, which is um, sort of like you could say, it's like a little uh, spring or a little bouncer uh, option so that it, 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 re it restricts your camera from going or your, your, your tripod head from basically going t totally forward or backwards. So let me just level the, balance the camera more or less. Okay, it's in the middle. And now I'll just show you guys, like this camera is actually, you know, it's very, very light, but you can see if I, if I left, leave it unattended, it can still, it will still go back. And this is something you want to avoid. Well, now if I adjust this thing, I put it right now on, before it was on one, I'm, I put it now on four. If I, if for example, I, I can use the tripod, as you can see, I can, you know, tilt up and down, but it has this sort of, this kind of a springy kind of a motion to it. It's very kind of, it's basically this dampening system inside it. And now let's say, like I said, if I have to run off or, and I forget to lock the camera, uh, the, the tripod, then if I let go of it, as you can see, it will basically level itself and it will come back to a position. Even if I left it, let's say in this position, and I let go of it, see, it actually will go up. And you can adjust the intensity of this. So if you have a heavy camera rig, it's good that, that you can adjust intensity of it because then you know you'll need that that effect to be a lot stronger. But for example, right now, you know, since the camera setup is so light, then when when I have this option on, it kind of makes it a little bit harder, you know, to pen you know, like you know, tilt the camera the camera up and down. So by just reducing this effect, it still allows me to see to easily now pen up and down or tilt up and down. But, you know, I still have that, like I said, that safety. So if I let go of it, the camera will kind of stay level. So it just avoids you from accidentally dropping the camera and damaging the camera or, or the lens. It also, there is a, a, another here nap that goes from one to five or to four, actually. And this one is for just adjusting the, the tension of the, the actual uh, tilting up and down. So right now, you know, all the way at, at four, it just, you know, makes it a little bit harder. Like you have to put more force into it. And so again, might be better for, for if you want to have really small, very kind of controlled, you know, camera moves. Uh, and again, if I put it to, to one, it's super light. It's, you know, yeah, pretty much I have to hold it because if not, it will just drop. So, uh, so it's very, very, you know, a very good dampening system and the, just the, the whole fluid head. Uh, it also has here this ring. This is just adjust the tension again for the, the panning. A lot, a lot of people out there have, have asked me, you know, what's the point of having a, a tripod with, with the ball head, basically a head that, that kind of sits in this sort of a ball uh, shape. It allows you to very quickly adjust it, you know, like basically put the tripod down and make sure that your, your shots are all level. Uh, without having a, a ball mount here, uh, what you would have to traditionally do is to, 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 you know, to level the camera, you would have to actually adjust the length of one leg and the other one, you know, and, and really kind of play around with, with the, the length of, of, of each of the, of the legs to get it level, whereas now, it, I can basically just put the legs in their tr standard length. You know, I, I have it here on uneven terrain and I can easily now, you know, I can still see when I look at the, the bubble head in the back that it's, the camera is not level, but I can now loosen this and I can easily rotate this anyway and sort of, you know, make up for, for the fact that the tripod is a little bit crooked. And there I see that it's, you know, it's level and I can this quickly, you know, level the camera and start, start getting my shots. Another thing I really like about the tripod is the fact that to, uh, to adjust the length of the, of the, the, the tripod legs, uh, you just have these little, you know, switches here. Uh, you just basically flip up and down to, to basically loosen it and you can very easily see, you can, you can extend the leg and then you can flip it down and lock it in place. A lot of tripods out there have these knobs and it just takes longer to, like I said, to loosen up that knob, adjust the thing, the tripod leg and lock it in. And, uh, and also if you're, for example, you're extending the leg, you know, the, the, the tripod all the way up and, uh, you know, it might be really hard to reach one of the knobs, it's, it's you know, basically impossible for one person then to, to lock it. You, then you need another person to come in and, and, and reach the knob for you. Whereas right now I can pretty much, I, I can even use my legs here. Like, uh, let me just show you guys here. I'm going to extend the tripod all the way up. So I'll loosen this. And I'm just going to lift up the tripod. See, it drops easily, and I just now start locking out these switches here. And I'm going to extend it even more. And let's say if I can reach it there, I could actually reach right now with my leg, but if I couldn't, then I can just use my leg to, 
basically lock it in place, which makes it just, yeah, like I said, just makes it that much easier. And this way, again, you can easily adjust the height of it and, and you don't need another person helping you. Uh, this is, uh, you know, the, as high as, as, you, as you're going to go with the camera. I'm, uh, I'm 5'11", my height, so you can kind of judge, you know, how high the, the, the tripod goes. Uh, I'm going to actually lower it right now for our little test shots. And sort of put on my eye level. Now, uh, to test out the, the tripod, really, you know, really the only thing really you need to test out is, uh, you know, uh, make sure that the fluid head is actually fluid. Uh, it just means that, you know, allows you to get nice and smooth sort of panning and tilting shots. So uh, for this test, I'm going to use the Canon T3i. And just so you guys, you know, uh, see that I'm not cheating, I'm using a Bauer Cine lens. It's fully manual, no image stabilization in it. And this one's uh, 85 millimeters. So I'm just going to get a shot over there of the lake. All right. And... Like I said, 85 millimeters on a APS-C size sensor, so it's a fairly good zoom. And I'm just going to pan from to the right. I'm doing very, very small camera movements. As you can see, it's pretty smooth. I'm going to adjust the tension now of the pan to put it even, even higher. I'm going to pan from right to left. And now I'm going to do some fast uh, camera panning. As you can, see, you can see, you can go fast and then come to a nice smooth stop. Now, if I, if I were to turn off the, the dampening pretty much all the way, you'll see that you can move a lot quicker now. It's a lot easier, but then when you're stopping, obviously, it's not going to be as fluid not, or, or as smooth of a stop. And maybe get another shot here of this tree. Tilting up, 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 up. So there, you know, so they're not the most interesting shots, but uh, I guess what, what they what they just show is that you know, like I said, that the tripod. A uh, fluid head is actually, you know, fluid, which is uh, the most important thing probably in, in a tripod. Um, yeah, another thing, uh, just, you know, my final words, I guess, about it. There's really nothing wrong I can see with, you know, uh, I can find or, or say about this tripod. Uh, it's it's sturdy, solid. I've used it with, with my cranes, actually. If you, if you watch, uh, for example, my uh, Canova crane uh, re review, uh, I, that's the tripod I used for, uh, you know, to, to, as my basis for it. So it can definitely take on a lot of weight. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's sturdy, but it's light, um, just, you know, has a lot of nice little functionality. So if you guys are out there uh, in the market, you know, looking for a, you know, for a good, reliable tripod, you know, this one, like I said, it's for three months I've used it, nothing bad to say about it. So, uh, I highly recommend it. Anyways, uh, if you guys are interested in all the details, where to get it and, and all, the, all the other stuff, as well as if you want to see, uh, you know, hours of free filmmaking tutorials, then uh, check out my website at tomantosfilms.com. Thank you.